SNES Drunk. Drunk. Welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Mega Man X2. Yeah, I went back and I got the fourth sub tank and I filled them all up. They're all full. And uh, I also picked up those two um, heart pieces that had been eluding me. The one in uh, Crystal Snail and the one in uh, uh, Wheel Gator. Wheel Gator stage, the one where you need the fire charge. Not only that, but I also looked up the right way to beat this guy. It's not Magnet Mine. It's Sonic Slicer. You charge the Sonic. I always forget you can charge um, these uh, special weapons. Jesus. All right, blow this thing off. At which point, we then switch to uh, Sonic Slicer. And you just kind of jump... Um, well, I'm going to see if I can hit him. See how hard it is to fucking hit this guy? But this way, you just charge it up, and it hits him either on the upslope or the downslope. Slope? Upward? Vertical? I don't know. Here's what you do. <laughs> and this way, yeah, I'm just sitting here and just ignoring his attacks, which is pretty foolish. I should probably use it. one of my <coughs> four sub-tanks. I'll show you where to get the fourth sub-tank later on. Um, because we're going back to that stage anyway, we have to later on. Um, and if you're waiting for me to show you stuff in this game, and you're, and you're using this as a walkthrough and you're playing along, don't, I, I don't recommend doing that because <laughs> I'm not <laughs> clear. Evidently, you know, this isn't a, a, a walkthrough. Uh-oh. This is impossible. The prophecy must be fulfilled. The prophecy of your death. Like a... They give him a mustache. It's always a nice touch. But yeah, anyway, if you're watching this and you're you're doing it to like as like a complete walkthrough, don't do that. Don't. It's this is nothing complete about this. I'm just bullshitting about uh, Mega Man and my, my you know telling stories about random shit that's happened in my life and handing out passwords like that and and just playing the game. That's all I'm doing. And I want to show off a bunch of stuff in this game. Uh, and at least be able to demonstrate a little bit why I like this game better than the first Mega Man X. Is there anything up here? How can there be a ledge and there not be anything up there? That's horseshit. Anything up here? No. Come on. So anyway, yeah, we're, we're just cruising right along here in the uh, Dr. Wily slash Sigma... Although we don't know it's Sigma yet. Who else would it fucking be? Um, thing. Ooh, and if you need to grind, here you go. Get off me. Um, <coughs> is there a way to get up there? Sort of, maybe. I don't care. Um, I was thinking earlier, um, the uh, Mega Man movie. Like the, I, I heard there was like a fan-made movie or something like that. And it's, it's really bad. It's got like three stars on, out of ten on uh, IMDb. I was thinking, um, <laughs> also when I was when I was looking this up, I was I also saw somebody hilariously photoshopped a, uh, a Vin Diesel, uh, <laughs> Vin Diesel in a Mega Man helmet and with an arm cannon and stuff. Oh no, this part. This might take a while. Just just to warn you. Yeah, it's one of these. I forget what other Mega Man game does this. I think it's seven. I forget. One of the NES games does, has one of these too. Ah, it takes fucking forever. Um, yeah, Vin Diesel f crudely photoshopped. Uh, there we go. Crudely photoshopped in a in a Mega Man outfit. It's really hilarious. Ooh, barely made that. Um, and uh, I had the idea. I was thinking, um, you know, I, I remember, um, I, I don't know when this is going to air, when I'll, I'll this will be uh, in the, uh, this will air on my channel, probably not until like May something, I, I'm playing this in April, beginning of April, so, um, the, the, recently in the news was, uh, god damn it, the Legend of Zelda Netflix thing, I think that just got cancelled though, they, they said that's not, not legit. Um, but, uh, what if they did a Mega Man TV series? And not only that, what if they did a Mega Man TV series that was, like, <laughs> they made it, like, a 60s Batman thing, and they cast, like, the most ridiculous actor possible as Mega Man, like, 
What if they had Jeff Goldblum as Mega Man? <laughs> like a 60s, 1966 Batman adaptation. Like that would be the most hilarious and awesome thing. I defy anybody to, to say that's not the greatest thing of all time. If Jeff Goldblum is Mega Man. It's like zap, pow, yeah, I fuck, oh my god. I fucked that up hardcore. Wow. I gotta go all the way back down here. This may take a while. <laughs> but God, just imagine, just, just, just imagining that. Uh, well, 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 well. There it is. I can't do a Jeff Goldblum impression, but just Jeff Goldblum is Mega Man in Mega Man. Zap, pow, blast, spliff. <laughs> he gets all his weapons and all the all the villains like Cut Man and Heat Man. You know, you're going back to the first Mega Man game. Heat Man's Mega Man too, but you go back to. Uh, <laughs> you, you can hire just just like the original Batman had like Burgess Meredith and like eventually got like they had Vincent Price and they had eventually had some like legitimate actors doing you know playing villains on that show. Oh what? You, it doesn't stop when your head hits the ceiling. Come on. Ugh. I gotta start over. This is gonna take a long time. Hey, I still have like at least four minutes left of this episode so what, what else can I uh, yeah Mega Man TV series I mean you could get like I don't know uh, it'd be funny to see like some serious mega serious actor or you could get Chris, or you can always get Christopher Lee even though he's like 90 years old to play <laughs> play like you know Elec Man or something like that I don't know who would play Elec Man Brandon Frazier, I'm sure he needs the work. Damn it! <sighs> Brandon Frazier's looking pretty beefy these days. Saw a picture of him not too long ago. Nothing wrong with that. That's what happens when you get old. I've been packing on the pounds lately. God, I swear to God, I've gained like 15 pounds since I moved to Albuquerque from Minnesota. It's uh, it's distressing. Your metabolism just isn't what it is. Uh, and I've since I got here, I've been drinking a lot and. Uh, for various reasons, some legitimate, some not, and uh, it's it's impossible not to like eventually look like you know like compare Jimmy Fallon now and what he looked like when he started on Saturday Night Live. He looked like a little boy when he started on Saturday Night Live. Apparently, that guy likes to hit the sauce, and uh, he's bloated up cons like significantly. He, like he looks terrible. Well, he doesn't look terrible, but I mean, he looked like. He, he looks a lot different, and he's only aged, you know, how how long ago was he on Saturday Night Live? Like 12 years ago, and he looks like he's aged in about 25 years. That's just my opinion, but that's what booze will do to you. There we go, finally. Let's see if I can fucking get past this. Okay. I wonder if there's, like, a power-up that'll help me um, do this. I'll have to look into that if I can't fucking... There we go. Well done. We are past that level. But yeah, what if... I'm trying to think of, like, a legitimate actor that's, like, highly acclaimed that but is, would... I mean, you could definitely get Nicolas Cage to play a Mega Man villain in the Mega Man TV series. I'm sure he's he's got nothing else better to do on his island. Shit, that was really sloppy. Come on. There we go. Right, I know there's more spikes down here. You have to be really careful. Those spikes actually look like spikes, which I really appreciate, by the way. Those aren't like the Mario Brothers 3 spikes that look like little cones made out of paper. Like, those look like fucking spikes that will, like, do harm. I'm not even going to bother with that free guy. No thanks. Ah, uh, you have to charge to hit this thing. Pain in the ass. <laughs> so that's my million dollar idea. Feel free to steal it. Mega Man the TV series done in the style of the 1960s uh, Batman TV show. With the color. I mean, because that, that's what gave me the idea. Yeah, you have to use the, these things to get past this. And you can use the fire charge thing to dash past it too. But I prefer to do this because it's less risky. But um, yeah, the, the, that's I was playing Mega Man 7 not too long ago. Um... And it's, I just love how freaking colorful that game is and cartoony. And that gave me the idea, like, if they did a, a Mega Man 7, or a Mega Man uh, 
uh, yeah, you want to use the uh, magnet for this boss. I had I had the wrong boss for the magnet thing. You want to um, charge it up. Um, the the boss here, it's you just absorb all the damage. You charge up the Mega Man thing, or the charge up the magnet mine. I guess it's called thing. Since he stays in one spot, that means that you can just go up here, let it go, and it just glides across, and he just kind of flies into it. So your, your weapon lends itself well to this boss. Even if it's not technically its weakness, it might not even be. It's, it just works really well. I think it only, oh, it does take down a couple things. I don't even care about dodging anything. <laughs> That's the problem with uh, the difficulty in the Super Nintendo games. There's too many in my opinion, there's too many energy tanks. Maybe that's the case in the NES games, though, too. Um, why aren't they charging? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to use a, another sub tank here. But yeah, it's um, yeah. I think once you, you'll see once we get towards the end of the game, if you've got all four sub tanks filled up, it's it's I, like you can take tons of damage and just like go Rambo on the guy. I'm sure you can put together your own artificial, you know, your own artificial uh, parameters to beat it, like no sub tanks or whatever. But if they're there, then I'm gonna use them. It's the bottom line. This guy's dead. He's got his own little speech too. Master, avenge me! By the hammer of Galthrar, I must avenge you. Whatever that line is from Galaxy Quest. And we're done with this part. And it only took forever, that fucking platform stage. Anyway, uh, I'm going to call this an episode. I want to thank you for watching, and I want you to have a good rest of your day.